everybody, welcome back to Sibelius 7 tutorial here at educator.com. Formatting. In this lesson, we will talk about page margins, document setup, vertical and horizontal spacing, and other features which is related to this core layout in Sibelius. We will also learn more about one of the great features of Sibelius 7, uh, magnetic layouts. Earlier uh, in my units, we covered a little bit on the magnetic layout. I just want to go back and remind you about that. First thing we're going to talk about is page margins. When you're working with Sibelius, Sibelius already formats your score automatically for you. Under the View tab, we have the page margins. That's something before I print, I have a habit to go to the View menu, and if it's not checked right here under the Invisibles tab, we have the page margins, and we can display a dash blue rectangle to show where page margins are. That also gives me the print view. So basically, if I check the box, I see everything in my score right now is good. For instance, if I had my tempo and um, any kind of other instrument name, tempo text, let's say, out of this blue rectangle, which shows me, which is the page margins, that means I'm not going to get that on the printing view. So this is something uh, important to check usually. You never know in the creative process how your uh, score is going to end up. Um, second thing we're going to talk about is the document setup. It can be found under Layout tab on the left-hand side. So we go to the Layout tab and we'll see our document setup right there. You can go ahead and click on Dialog Launcher icon to view your document setup window right here and if you just like hold on to it you can see command D shortcut also you can get to it there we go we got our document set up you will see your options of page size at the top followed by the page margins and finally in the bottom staff margins these are all pretty much personal choices. Depending on your score and how many system you have in your score, you can adjust your layout of the score accordingly. You can see the preview on the right hand side for the changes on the document setup window. At this point, first thing at the top is by default, I have all the sizes in millimeters. You could choose the inches and everything translates to the inches or points. I usually, um, I'm good friends with millimeters, centimeters since I'm from Europe. So that works for me. If you, if it's more makes sense for you it, with the inches, you can choose that. Over here again, I have my page size. Again, A4 is very common in Europe. So if you choose that instead of letter uh, page size by default you can get to preview right away on the right side of the document setup window which is great and if you want it to landscape you can get a landscape and if you wanted to change any kind of sizes here staff sizes and everything will be previewed on the screen so this is a kind of a uh, cool feature that Sibelius has I'd like to go back to my letter size though when I just leave it as it is and portrait and then click OK and bring it back this is another cool feature you can bring anywhere you want as you hold and it turns into a grabber kind of looking hand looking sign on your mouse and uh, this is where we can get to it document setup command D is the shortcut